From the inception of this institute with the open architecture, the emphasis on people working with and collaborating with one another has been a secret to many of the big discoveries that have been made here. With the Conquering Cancer Initiative at Salk, we have five groups, each of whom represents a different discipline, all of whom have a common goal, and each of us are highly motivated to work with one another to cure this very devastating disease. What have been the barriers to conquering pancreatic cancer? And I think that there are three. Simply put, the first would be detecting pancreatic cancer earlier. We have no effective means of doing that. The second has to do with, once it's detected, coming up with treatments that are effective against it. And the third one, which is related to the first two, has to do with the amount of funding that's been available for pancreatic cancer research historically. One of the biggest challenges in pancreatic cancer is that it surrounds itself with a growing shield, a living shield of cells uh, that creates what's called a fibrotic response. We look at this as an invisibility shield. As it surrounds the cancer, it looks like normal cells to the rest of the body. And once they cover it completely, it's invisible. Uh, the immune system can't see it, and that's a real challenge uh, for any kind of therapy. It blocks chemo. The shield is really the secret. We're tackling the shield. It's not part of the cancer. It's the body's response. We take control of that. We know the genes. We have the master regulators, and our therapy targets the shield. That gives us great power over the cancer. A major frontier that we're now experiencing in the field of cancer research is not just the study of the tumor cells themselves, the cancer cells, but how the cancer cells are influencing the environment around it, the neighboring cells. So what we really are trying to tease apart then are these interactions between the tumor cells and the other cells, such as the immune cells. And so we need to uncover the different ways in which these cells crosstalk with one another and modify each other's functions so we can interfere with those processes to stop allowing the promotion of tumor development. My work focuses on finding better ways to detect pancreatic cancer before it spreads. If you think about a blood test, there are thousands of different signals in your blood, and they're coming from everywhere in your body. So how do we find the signal that tells us there is a tiny tumor in your pancreas that someday may kill you? We do this by using a three-dimensional culture model called organoids, and this enables us to look at the needles instead of wasting all of our time looking at the hay. Using these methodologies, we hope to be able to discover biomarkers that identify patients at risk for developing pancreatic cancer. We've particularly focused on some of the normal cells in the pancreas which uh, respond to the tumor by elaborating a very dense uh, matrix of proteins. One of those proteins that we call LIF, L-I-F, is made by these normal pancreas cells. We're hopeful that our work on this protein LIF might uh, lead to a new pancreatic cancer biomarker. We think that it could at least be used to monitor response to therapy, but it could also potentially be used to, to screen people at risk for pancreatic cancer um, by doing a simple blood test. With pancreatic cancer, you have the worst diagnoses that you can get if you're a patient. It's a very dark day. Our goal is to bring light into that process, and that's gonna change the game. Salk is about discovery. That's what the initiative is about. We like taking on the hardest problems. We're the place to do it. We're about breakthroughs. We could do something that's incremental, but what makes a difference is breakthroughs. And so the way we approach the problem is very different than anywhere else. And because of that, we have a better chance, I think, than anywhere else to make a big impact. <laughs>